Hi guys, welcome back to Funky Cool Threads. If you guys are new here, my name is Luisa, and today we are hitting the Sacramento Goodwill Outlet, also known as the Goodwill Bins. I'm out here with my girlfriend Allison, and we just got our Starbies. We're ready to have a little breakfast. We have our bevies, and we are hitting the road. So let's go and see what we can find. <laughs> Okay guys, so as soon as we got into this Goodwill outlet, it was so packed in there. There were so many people and honestly the fines were just not hitting. We weren't having the best of luck here so we decided to definitely hit up another Goodwill after. We spent maybe about an hour in here just kind of digging throughout and really didn't find much. But um, you know, we toughed it out. We were there for a little bit and we... We called it quits. I think I walked out with like a Fedrix of Hollywood corset, which I was really excited about, and a Betty Boop um, like shirt. But that was pretty much it for like my ultimate finds. Other than that, I felt like I don't know. I felt kind of overwhelmed for once at the bin. And I don't know if it's because it was full of like younger kids, so they were just like really like obnoxious and just being really loud so i kind of just wanted to get out of there at that point but um the pound here is really good i think it was only a dollar 59 a pound which is way better than like the selena's goodwill bins and the oxnard ones that i like to go to so i definitely recommend going here if i were to go again i would go maybe in the morning time these kids were the ones that were behind me the whole time when i was sourcing and they were just fighting like a married couple to be completely honest but yeah that's me just putting back some stuff sourcing through my pieces and then we went off to a another goodwill um superstore which was pretty fun the goodwill superstore was really really big unfortunately they were remodeling so the whole back of the store was completely empty which was kind of a bummer um i did find a couple items here my most favorite items that i found here were the shoes guys and i'm so sad that i didn't walk away with no shoes because the shoe finds here were so good it had all my fall shoes that i had on my bucket list and i'm on pinterest because you know i've been searching for like some really good fall shoes um i absolutely loved like these really cute green flats unfortunately they didn't fit me they're here they are right here i just love the color because i feel like it's perfect for fall and then i found some brown loafers which i feel like i already have two brown loafers at home but i don't know i've been kind of wanting something different um i ended up trying on a couple of shoes these ones i absolutely loved i loved how they looked and everything but i just didn't know if they were giving too much grandma here's allison showing me her vintage fine me trying on the loafers which were eh, they were okay honestly they didn't tickle my fanny so left them behind but these boots guys oh my god these black cowboy boots i wanted them for the shop but they were way too expensive i really love these like leopard clogs i just don't really like the leopard print and then i found these really cute loafers and then they had a heel so i was like damn it been wanting some with like a little tassel so i left those behind as well we did a little we did a little digging around and I'll show you guys what I left behind at the end, so enjoy me thrifting. Okay guys, this is what I'm working with right now. I have to pick through my items and see what I have. This is a pretty large thrift store. The only thing is that they're going to start remodeling, so the whole back is kind of empty, but we found some good pieces. We're going to see what we're going to take and what we're going to leave behind. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you my nose for the day. Um, first off is this skirt. I'm just not really crazy for the color. It's kind of whatever's. And then I did find some really cute like funky fall kind of tops, but I'm not really vibing with them to be honest. Here's another one. 
I just feel like I can pick tops up like this at home for like a way cheaper price. <laughs> the next item are these really cute shorts. It's a two-piece set. I really like it, but honestly, the color is just a little... I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. This one, not crazy for it. Victoria's Secret, just a plain sheer top. Like I need any more black trousers. These are dead stock though, Sears, but we're going to pass up on those. And then... These pants I really, really love for me, but I don't know. I don't think I'm thinking the price. Well, actually, the price is only six bucks, which is not bad, but hmm. Allison, what do you think? Six bucks. Should I take them for me? Yeah. I'm going to leave them. I'm not convinced. And then last but not least is this two-piece set. I figured it would be really cool as like a little like Y2K item. I really like the button details. And it comes with the matching skirt. But I don't know. Like I mentioned, not crazy. And I feel like people aren't going to see the vision unless they really know how to style it. So I'm just going to leave it behind. And I'll show you guys the haul at home. But first, we're going to grab a bite to eat because we're starving. Nom 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 <laughs> This is our aftermath Okay guys, we just got our grub on We're feeling good, we're feeling full And now we're gonna hit this thrift store That had just happened to be Right next to IHOP And it's Bargain Thrift Store So let's check it out And see what they got for us today I like right here. Yep. This is what the <laughs> Okay guys, so definitely stepping into this thrift store. We were so excited automatically because it reminded us of our Fresno local thrift stores. Super cheap and you know when they staple that price tag on that clothing you know you found a really cheap thrift store so we were really excited about this thrift as soon as we like got in here we we're like why didn't we just look up like freaking mom and pop thrift shops like why did we go straight to just like goodwills we were so mad at each other for that but you know what you live and you learn and we just know that next next time's thrift trip is gonna be even more epic because we're gonna be hitting up all the mom and pop thrift shops like this and we spent a couple you know like a few minutes here or like a good hour i would say and we walked out with some really good things oh my god allison's fine i wish i had a picture or a video to show you guys but she walked out with the most amazing morbid threads freaking dress i found this corset and someone painted x's on it i still ended up taking her i was just gonna diy and do like some lace on the boobies but super amazing find we hung out here a little bit and did a little thrifting a little bit of digging um right here i'm sourcing through my items and seeing what i'm gonna take and what i'm gonna leave behind i did show you guys what i left behind unfortunately i couldn't talk because the music of course like our local fresno mom and pop thrift shops was so freaking loud i did not want to get monetized so or what is it called is that what it's called monetized i didn't want to get oh my god copyrighted <laughs> sorry but this is what i ended up leaving behind i liked the transparency of that top but just wasn't really digging the style of it this one and uh, just wasn't really feeling it i think i just liked it because of like the threading and like design that it had this one was really cute i loved the color palette on it but i just felt like it was i don't know i don't maybe the sleeves i wasn't really digging um these i picked up a lot of these white lacy embroidered tops which you guys know i love but i just felt like i have so many already and i'm like i don't really need more this one i absolutely love the collar was amazing with the lace trimming so so beautiful this one i really liked as well because it was just dainty and cute it was just missing like a button but like i mentioned i didn't really need her so i left her behind as well and now we headed home and I will show you guys the haul 
maybe in another video so thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me let me know down below if you would like to see the haul and i will show you guys this monday coming up bye